I'm going to show you how to use AI to learn to code for free. We'll be using ChatGPT and my new favorite AI tool, Perplexity AI. This video isn't sponsored by Perplexity AI. It is sponsored by Brilliant, and I'll tell you more about that later. In this example, we're going to use Python, but what I really like about ChatGPT is it'll teach you any language. So whatever you want to learn, you can apply these methods to that language. There are five steps. Step one, go to Perplexity AI, and write this. I am a complete Python novice. I want to learn to code in Python to do data analysis. I want to be proficient in six months. Create a learning path for me. And you'll see something similar to this. Now we have a roadmap. Not enough, but a decent start. I like Perplexity AI because it gives good answers and it provides sources so you can check where the information has come from. Explore the sources and get a feel for what you should be learning. Perplexity AI said master the basics. Ask ChatGPT how to do that. Now you know what you need to know for the basics, tell ChatGPT to create a series of challenges for you to work through. There, not up there, do it there. ChatGPT can help. If you get stuck, ask it questions. Let's say that you're struggling with challenge number four. This one, the if else conditions one. I'll just ask ChatGPT for help. Certainly, challenge four is about using an if else statement to compare a user inputted number with the value 10. Let's break it down step by step. And work through each challenge this way. Ask ChatGPT to make the challenges more difficult and keep repeating that process. Creating challenges, asking for help, and then getting feedback on your solutions. Now use Perplexity AI to search for intermediate challenges. They'll probably be too difficult, but don't worry. When you found one like this on calculating the diagonal difference, ask ChatGPT to create a tutorial based on that challenge, which breaks it down and asks you questions to test your understanding. Creating a diagonal difference calculator for an n by n matrix is a great way to practice Python programming and understand matrices better. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial with explanations and practice tasks for you. Keep working through challenges this way, you'll learn a lot very quickly. You can accelerate learning by reading other people's code. A good place for that is PyPy. Go there and find something that interests you. I picked this, which when you run it, looks like this. Find the code, try to understand it, don't worry if you can't, put it into ChatGPT and ask for an explanation. And do that with every piece of code that you read that you don't understand. The most effective learning method known to science is retrieval practice. And don't just take my word for it, look, this, this, this is a book all about learning. And here, look there, you can see it says to learn retrieve. Retrieval practice is the most effective way of learning that there is, and it's built into all of these exercises. Where I say you should ask ChatGPT to create tests, that's retrieval practice. The second most effective method is spaced practice, and you can ask ChatGPT to create a learning schedule for you that uses spaced practice. Now you just need to go back to the original learning path that Perplexity AI created for you way back at the start of the video, and for each topic you need to go through the process that we've just been through. Learning to code can be challenging, but there's a free and easy way to do it with Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is the best way of learning computer science, math and data science. Why? Because it's effective and fun. Remember I was talking about the science of learning earlier? Well, effective learning techniques are intrinsic to Brilliant, which is why I like it. It's not boring lectures, it's full of interactive lessons that teach you how to solve problems and then challenge you to put your newfound knowledge to the test. It shows you how to get the best from your brain by teaching you how to think, which makes you more capable of achieving your goals. Brilliant has thousands of lessons on many interesting topics like computer science, data science, AI and neural networks at levels from beginner to advanced. Try the Thinking in Code course, where you'll be designing computer code to solve real-life problems right from the start, from Maps app navigation to writing a program that automatically responds to work messages. That's the kind of teaching that you don't forget. The lessons are guided with hints if you get stuck. When you sign up, you'll take a short quiz that matches you with content to fit your skill level and interests. 
If you want to see how far you could go with Brilliant, you can try it free for a full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or just click on the link in the description. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.